Hey and welcome to the channel. Today I'll talk about a files app and basically what files app actually is. It's a modern file manager that helps users organize their files and folders. It's really cool app. It's open source. Every single piece of code it's available on GitHub. And here if I scroll down below you will see which features it actually has. It has multitask with tabs which is the same feature which original file explorer also has. Then we have the dual pane tag files and folders we have view and edit archives and it also has quick look which is similar to the mac os feature when you press the space bar and it will preview the file this is some really cool features which are actually available in this files app and why am i today talking about this app because it was just updated to the version 3.5 and apparently this release is available on microsoft store or on github and you can also download it for free but i will also also show you how to download this app for free just in a minute. So let's talk about a new features of this application. It has apparently updated the design with rounded corners in version 3.5. So this is the latest version. Apparently right now they enhance the aesthetics of the rounded corners around the UI surfaces including toolbar, content area and the preview pane. They also have refinement improvements for the overall consistency of the design of these files app. Then we at the bottom also have more pronounced shadow between the dual pane and then down below we can see the dimensions of the image by just hovering over the image which I think is also really really nice. Then down below we can open the batch files in notepad. Then down below we also have explore network locations on the home page which is also a nice addition. At the bottom are some of the other features which are included and also the fixes and if you guys go here to the github page you will also see all of the code here right now let me show you how you can download this app completely for free without paying even a cent let's go here to the files and i will put this exact link to download this file in the video description right below the like button by the way and once on this page you will just click on the classic installer because if you click the first one you will be redirected to the microsoft store and on the microsoft store you will unfortunately have to pay about nine euros or about nine and a half dollars for this application if you want it completely for free you will go to this page and just click on classic installer or you can just download the insider preview but keep in mind that insider preview is in development stage and it isn't as stable as the stable version of this files application so i highly recommend click on the classic installer and you will get the .exe file now once you have the file you would just go here to to your default file explorer by the way and just click on the files.stable. Now if you don't see the ending of the file exe you can simply go here under the view on the default file explorer of course and just click on the show here and then make sure that you enable file name extensions and here you will be able to see .exe file. Now you will just double left click on this file and it should install. I have it up and running right now and you can see it how it actually looks like. It really has a nice design especially this top bar at the top. It really nicely blurs the wallpaper at the background and this is one of the effects which I really like about this application its own design. Here we have for example a few of the folders so first page is quick access then we have here the drives and stuff like that. So if I go for example to the downloads folder here you can see how it actually looks like. Here we have this rounded corners all around the border and here at the top we also have all these rounded corners as well. If I click on this button here you will toggle the information pane. So here you can see how many of the items are inside this exact folder and if you enable here the preview you can also see for example if I click on the image here you will see the preview of the image. So apparently if I hover over the image it should actually show me the details of the image. So if I do that right now here it seems that nothing is actually happening. So what I will do here I will just change the view format. Here we have the layout which you can also change. For example you can go to the list, you can go to the tiles, you can go to the grid, you can go to the columns. I will just enable the tiles here. If I right now hover over image you will see 
exact dimensions, the name, the size, and stuff like that. So apparently this feature isn't available if you have this layout set to the details. Now we have here the recycle bin shortcut as well. The drives are also here. Then we have the cloud drives, network, and the tags, which I believe is the similar feature imported from the macOS file explorer as well. If you want to set this file explorer as your main file explorer, you will just go here under the advanced settings and here at the bottom you will see experimental feature flags. Now here down below you have set files as default file manager and if you enable that you will see this admin prompt and you can just click on yes here and this will pretty much replace your file explorer with this new one. I believe that the performance still isn't on the level of the original file explorer so this is something that you have to keep in mind while using this application but it definitely looks nicer than the default file explorer nonetheless now if i go back to the settings here you can go here to under the appearance and one really cool feature which i found out is this backdrop material now keep in mind that by default this is enabled i believe mika or mika alt this is how this top bar will look like and the best option which i actually found out is called thin acrylic it will have this more prominent effect of the wallpaper behind this window for example in comparison of acrylics just acrylic not the thin one it will look something like this so the effect of the wallpaper isn't as prominent as the thin acrylic so what i recommend that you actually enable the thin acrylic feature here under the settings you will also find for example the themes here and you can also if you want you can also set background image for the file explorer then under the layouts you have all the options here as well just like the layout type you have here adaptive layout you can also lock it to whatever layout here you prefer then we have here files and folders so if you want you can also enable hidden items then you also have here show extensions for known file types then under the actions you have all the shortcuts all of them are listed right here so if you want you can just check out this page and try them out then we have also the tags developer tools and the advanced you can also open files on windows startup so you can also enable that one thing is that this app will actually run in the background for the better performance these are some of the really nice cool features of this application so if i for example right click on one of the images you should also see this cool new right click menu you can see here compress items create a shortcuts you have copy cut and stuff like that so this right click menu is also right now new here in this application i think this is pretty much it for this video let me know in the comment section if you tried this brand new file explorer out if you did make sure to smash up the like button subscribe to the channel if you of course haven't already and i will leave a download link for this file application in the video description down below have an amazing rest of your day and i will see you all in the next one.